Looks like a dinosaur took a giant poo right in our feed room. So, Travis and I just got done moving the feed mill here out of the way so that we could clean up everything under it. And then what we're planning on doing is climbing in the harvester and forking, shoveling out all of the moldy corn that's on the inside of it to clean it out so we can be ready for this coming harvest. So this is what it looks like on the inside right now. Harvesters used to be the bee's knees, but they're quickly dissuading me from um, wanting to continue using them because when you don't empty them out every year, when you don't have a high volume of corn going through them, especially like a corn harvester, um, they will get moldy or rotten pretty quick. Um, whereas like hay harvesters, um, they weren't too bad, but like same deal. I mean, at least it was first in, first out with those. These just kind of feed down like a grain bin, but they mold. So Travis is just getting the 4020. We're gonna hook it up to the blower, get some air flowing through it. And then uh, we're gonna hop in the harvester, fork it out on the ground. And then we're gonna throw it into the gutter and put it into the manure spreader. Every year we put about 2,000 bushels into the corn harvester to feed dad's calves with. Since I'm gonna have a lot more calves this year, um, I'm gonna put 2,000 bushels of my own corn into the small suka bin out here, which can hold about 2,000 bushels. Um, what I don't like about the corn silo is that when you put corn in there, it's a one-way trip for it. Uh, if you don't use it all, which they can be good if you do use a lot of corn, um, Back, like back when we were doing dairy. But we don't use near as much as we used to, so a lot of corn sits down in the bottom of them, which even then we still had mold issues. Um, but now we try to clean it out every single year, and we haven't for a few years, uh, because otherwise it does this and it gets really bad. Um, otherwise it's just a little moldy and it's not too terrible to clean out. So, at least with the grain bins, if you, uh, have a little bit of leftover corn it should still be good whereas in the silo it's pretty much guaranteed to mold every year so let's go ahead and hook Travis up
So we pulled the auger out of the feed room and are going to use it to move the feed from the feed room over into the gutter. Hopefully it's a little bit easier on our backs so then we don't have to walk quite as far. Hopefully get it a little bit done a little bit faster. So let's see how it works. So the auger actually worked out pretty well. Uh, I knew that if we kept doing what we were doing, just sh shoveling it and then walking it out here, our backs would have been hurting pretty bad by tonight. So if we didn't have to shovel it and walk it quite so far and lean down, after a while it gets hurts your back quite a bit. So uh, worked pretty good. This is Travis's setup, putting the bales like this. Uh, it actually worked pretty good because we could just toss it at it and uh, keep the corn contained while we can still walk around it uh, with any of those larger chunks because we couldn't beat the large chunks down inside it. So we're about to hop back in and shovel some more out and um, hopefully we can get it cleaned out but we'll just have to wait and see. Might have to shovel some more tomorrow. Okay.
moved all that by herself. All right. Uh. Need a candy bar. Uh. Maybe a Mountain Dew. We're gonna feel that in the morning. That was rough. Grain vac. 10 grand for a used grain vac? Guess I'll suffer. A little hard work never killed anybody. Ooh, here's a used grain vac for six grand. I don't know if a grain vac would have completely helped with that though. At least we managed to get all of the corn outside of the silo. So we're gonna finish the rest tomorrow. So see you guys then. I should have taken a, like a tomato bath or something because I took a shower last night and I still smelled like the rotten corn. So dad is loading the corn that mom shoveled out outside with the bobcat into the spreader. I'm gonna take it down into the pasture down here uh, below the buildings and spread it. So that way it kinda way to get rid of it rather than uh, putting it into a pile. We didn't want to put it into a pasture with cattle because we're worried about them trying to eat it up off the ground and it could be toxic to them being as that it's this rotten. So. of the new idea 3739 is 390 bushels or 430 cubic feet and we've got just under two full loads I think uh, to haul out I think the next load probably won't be quite as heavy but it's sitting underneath the silo right now after we had shoveled it out last night even a half load that ended up being a few hundred bushels um, seems like a lot but when we haven't cleaned it out over the last few years when you spread out how many bushels were in there and how many are rotten uh, it's really not quite so bad um, when you work with the silos or the harvesters you're gonna have some loss so I'm gonna take this second load out and spread it Look at those beautiful beans. Can't forget the corn. 
crops are looking fantastic. I'm gonna back this under the manure, or the barn cleaner, and uh, unhook it, and back the 7600 in the shed. Let's crack open the pre-filter on my mask and see if it was worth wearing. All that junk could be in my lungs right now. So it's a pretty good reason to always wear a mask whenever you think you're going to be in any kind of dusty conditions. Um, I bought that mask a while back to spray or to apply uh, Flex Seal and graphite paint in the creek feeder and I've been using it around the farm since. So uh, it's nice to have it on hand. I usually just leave it in big red. That way it's in a safe spot. It's out of the dust and uh, it's readily available. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss this filter out and put new ones in. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And don't forget to activate the notification bell on our channel. Be sure to leave a comment if you're interested in winning a How Farms Work hat as well. With that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.